I'm going to do an L-clad with either the, this is polished aluminum, and this, this is chrome. I've done a number of uh, chrome bumpers for, for Frank, and uh, basically what I do is I attach a piece, uh, a piece of sprue. You know, obviously on a car bumper it'd be in, in back where it's not going to, going to, uh, going to show. So, um, gloss black, I use the uh, Model Master gloss black because it's, it's the, probably the shiniest. This, this can was a little, a little thin so every, I had to get everything two coats. Uh, the reason you want two coats is that if you have like a lighter spot or some of the plastic is showing through, the chrome is going to be look a little bit different. So you need an overall um, even coat of black. So I had to get so I had to give us two shots. And that's enamel, right? Yeah, this yeah this is the tester's enamel. And again, if you screw up, you can always toss this into Castro, and about ten minutes, you're, it's it's clean. Uh, so I'm going to be using the black for both. Again, the Alclad polished aluminum and the chrome. <coughs> um, and using this uh, Rust-Oleum primer, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, it's cheap, it's like two bucks at the, at the home stores. And I'm going to use that for the, for the pale gold. And I'm going to do these uh, uh, kind of, you know, the, the Pontiac honeycomb wheels with that. And also the. Uh, the cover of the. You spray the gold right over the pine. Oh yeah, <coughs> yeah. It, <coughs> what it does, you want a, you want a, a base that it's going to you know, hold on to, you know, as, as as well as you want a, an even, an even texture. I'll, yeah, I could come up with another one. Now, could you use the black also as a base for that? For the gold? oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint these gold okay. just to show you that. But will the, but will the gloss no black over the primer work give you a different tinge of gold, or will it make a different result? It would give you a different. It would give you give you a different result. Yeah, it'd be more of a semi gloss than just spray without the. Yeah. Well, this is this is going to be well. This is yeah, semi gloss, yeah. Yeah, and you wanted that for those wheels. You wanted right, that. right, mm -hmm. right. But for the chrome, obviously, this is going to be. Right. Now, what's that? What's that? What's that drill to? <laughs> this too? Yeah. This is uh, actually this. Is, oh, it's a seat. It's a seat. seat it's a seat box. Seat, seat back. back. There's seats in the, one of those bags over there. You know, oh. the, actual, the actual seats? I, I was going to say, you your project, just, just okay. don't know. <laughs> well, I'm an outlet I've seen. I'm, I'm leaving this for you guys. Oh. For the building. Oh, all right. So, I asked a lot of damn questions. I know. I took things at work, too. Uh, here's, uh, you know, the uh, Mustang front and... Uh, okay, so... Um, <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, chrome first, and the thing about Alclad is that if you leave this set, you'll see that the the actual metals come up to about here, and everything else is, is really just thinner. Mm -hmm. So um, what you're trying to accomplish is spray it on as light as you can, because the more you put on, the more it's going to build up and the duller it's going to look. So it's pretty much just using the lightest air you can get out, and um, now just what type of pressure. <coughs> Who knows? Air pressure. I, I don't know. Oh, you don't? Know. Okay, I don't know. I, I normally do it with my Apache Model H, this one here, but I thought I'd use the uh, the, the, the well, no, this is this is the Harbor Freight fifteen dollars special. <laughs> it's a badger. Well, uh, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. The yeah, so snap on is the same thing, except it's red, where that one's blue. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's $30 higher, right? Yeah. Probably yeah. more than $30. Higher. Yeah. Probably about uh, $90 higher. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I, I sprayed that stuff before and I had it mixed up pretty good. And I thought, well, I'll just give her one more shake. So I give her a quick shake like that. And the BB broke the glass and all. 
Now this is a fresh bottle. This stuff is a little expensive. It's about eight bucks yeah. a bottle, but you get a lot of mileage out of this. Stuff. You really do, especially if you you know use it kind of sparingly or the way you should. So if somebody would plug my uh, compressor in there. When it dries, do you polish it or no? No, no. <laughs> it, it'll rub right off. It's supposed to do that. Okay, so. Boy, my That caught your mind. My whole coffee can with it. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. That burger. <laughs> Frank. Okay, you want burger. Hot dog, hot dog I should say. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing up here, but I'm, I'm just barely. I'm just barely laying down in it. I can So. You can spray it against that black, that uh, uh, black T-shirt. Now we can see that. It's more than the same black. You see that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You know we're brothers. You know. <laughs> I, I thought so, but I wasn't going to say anything. You know, I, just, I try to stay out of trouble. Out of trouble. Okay, I'm going to pass this around. <laughs> That's quite one. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep the oh, weight mine. <laughs> so that's one done. Yeah. My old coffee can I got. <laughs> Compressor. Sounds like an old Maytag with the, the old one, uh, one cycle engine. Yeah. And basically, you see that I've got it fairly, fairly far away. And I'm kind of controlling how much I'm putting on by, by doing that. Normally I do this under a, a halogen light so I can see what I'm doing. No, the one okay, that you passed around the lights done. and I still don't know what yeah, I'm doing. You won't put any more, that's it. It's done. <laughs> oh. Who are you, Frank? <laughs> yeah, chrome seat back. Nice. And don't try to thin that stuff because it doesn't work. Do what? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clear coat it? No, if, it, if you clear coat it, if you clear coat it, it's going to be gray. And actually, as, as, it dries, it, as it dries, as it dries, it's going to get shinier. Because what's happening is the, the solids are coming up to the top. Oh. I've also heard guys will take like a uh, cotton swab and lightly bug. Is that. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend it. And watch your temperature. Don't they come up on your hand yeah. when you're uh, working with it? Nope. No. Uh, but do you have to let it dry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Better. Now, that will. I have done that. Okay. Steve, have you exclusively yeah. used the enamel primer? I don't know what you Pretty much. Well, well, no. No. Only for the, only for this stuff. I'm saying for, for, uh, for help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. You can press it, Craig. And watch your temperature when you're uh, putting that. If it's a little cold, 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 cold. It'll, yeah, it'll bubble on you. Cold? Cold. Oh, yeah. if, you, if it's not up to, say, room temperature or water. I haven't, I haven't, I've noticed a temperature change on it. Uh, okay, so that's. So you uh, basically do just, just enough to cover. They work out. That's it. The more you put on, the duller it's going to work. Just use one coat? Just one coat here. It's kind of hot. No clicker. No clicker. No clicker. No clicker. Steve, this is pulpit was in cotton. When you take a piece off the tree, how do you touch up? Ah, that's good. Good question. Um, somebody hold this. Frank, yeah. you got to tell him to paint the other. Oh, it's already <laughs> done. Wipe <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> it on your shirt. You make no. Put this. Mm -hmm. No, that's available. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. I waste more putting it in my cup and then. I'm going to run some. I'm going to run some thinner. Does anybody here got one of those caps for sale? I think I found it at um, one of the better supplied hobby stores. Better supplied. In my my green building in Chicago. <laughs> 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 in my area. <laughs> hey Chuck. Uh, I know. Uh, Chuck, you got a uh, 
Empire, model Empire up in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Very big supply of yeah. airbrush equipment. That's the first no, time I've ever seen one of those. Hobby. I've, never I've seen always poured it in my cup and used it and then pulled the trigger back and yeah. dumped it back and out. And you a lot, like you they said. It yeah. my number one choice to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Empire, so what you're saying is if we don't pay right. attention, we just send it to you and it'll come back. And it'll come back. <laughs> yeah, just put plenty of money in the envelope. Line. No. <laughs> You do a hose in your top of your cap that you can just uh, screw that cap on, or you got? Can you get this? Uh, what I the cap that you got on the uh, the siphon? Yeah, I bought this. Okay, I didn't make that. Okay. Matter of fact, you know, um, you know where I got it from? Um, I buy it by the big bottles because I'm I'm sloppy. Um, what's the name of that? The, the paint came, came in a little bottles. Um, yes, house, of, house of color. Oh, oh okay. Matter of fact, that's, that's a house of color product. It came in a house of color. Hmm. Matter of fact, I got it up, up at Rockford. Up at um, Royal. 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 Yeah, I bought it at Royal. The small cap like that? Yeah. Where are they? Um, Rockford on 20. Somebody get a bunch of them all. Rockford right on State Street. Mm -hmm. I was worried that it was going to be a uh, Baltimore. Alpine, <laughs> State, Alpine and State, if you know where. <laughs> he's at, he's, he's Quincy. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. the there, there, there is one. No, 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 no. Right I, I didn't know how if you knew Rockford or yeah. Hey, Frank. No, I don't. I can use about four. All right, you can't get let there. me know. Anybody else? All right, on these, uh, on these racing wheels, I'm going to use the polished aluminum. And then we can make.